Hi, Vinaya. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. So, let's get started. Uh, can you just brief me about your file? Yes, I can yeah uh, hi my name is ayush i have 3 plus years of experience as a oracle dba so my roles and responsibility as a oracle dba is like uh, we are getting the email by using the uh, service now as well as like we are using a ticketing tool as a service now so whenever users are facing any issues related to the oracle database and they want to raise any request they are using a service now through which Uh, the ticket will be assigned to the oracle db team second thing is like we are using a mont- uh, we are using a monitoring tool with the name oem oem 36 we are using so we are using this monitoring tool oem for the uh, monitoring of the oracle databases and we can also perform some of the uh, administrative activity by using the oem so we are doing all the monitoring with the help of oem only like whenever any database is getting down or any issue is there with the oracle database we are getting the email message uh, with the oem because oem is integrated with the service now and we also get the ticket with the help of service now only and we are also getting the email message through which we will monitor our email and whenever any troubleshooting is required so we will log into our server and we are doing our troubleshooting part now um, coming to the uh, responsibility like we are mainly responsible to make sure that the database should be up and running 24 across 7 uh that's the first responsibility we are also doing the uh, uh, database backup by using the export by using the rman backup we also take the logical backup by using the export import uh, utility we are getting the regular tickets related to the user management like creation of users providing them the required roles uh, and privileges and uh, i'm also responsible to ensure that the data card setup is working fine there should not be any gap in between primary and standby um we also have a rack environment so we are doing the rack administrative activities also to ensure that the rack cluster where is uh, uh, is in sync and everything is fine so all these things we are doing as a oracle dba uh, responsibility okay. okay so customer reports slowness in the database what are the checks you will do uh, customer report means you are talking about the health check of the oracle database ब्लॉकिंग <laughs> we will just uh, communicate the same thing to the client and if they are okay we can kill the blocking that's the second thing what we can do we will also check the top activities which are running on the oracle database uh, like what are all the queries which are consuming the high resources like cpu memory so we will check all these things we will al- we can also do the um, you know we can check the explain plan we can ca- we can do the explain plan we can check like what are all things are happening in the explain plan like maybe the table is going with the full table scan and if it is required we can create a index or rebuild index we can do gather statistics all this the uh, regular troubleshooting we can do whenever there is a performance related issues are there like say you you are receiving alerts via oem right uh, but uh, all of a sudden you have stopped receiving any alert for any environment okay in that case what you will check um so when you are getting the uh, e- uh, alerts from the oem basically it is coming because of this smtp protocol only so we can check whether that smtp protocol is working fine or not okay man, that is a, that is on server level the most important thing is we need to check the agent because agent is the one who is mainly responsible to send you the heartbeat to the oms so we will check whether the agent is running or not okay so if the application is Uh, not able to connect to DP. Customer is telling that their application is not able to connect to DP. So in that case, what you? Application connectivity is mainly happening because of this listener only. 
so we'll check whether the listener is running or not so that's the one thing what we can do from our side there is a chances that the user is uh, locked we will check his user account status also it should be open if it is locked we'll try to unlock it okay so uh, like which process takes care of listener registration yella ji earlier pimon was there now oh. it's yella ji okay so if customer uh, uh, is saying that i have executed a query and it was running fine okay but today when i am executing the same query it is taking time and it is not returning me any output so in this scenario like with respect to the query what all the things you will see the query what he is uh, running uh, we need to check with the client like whether any changes has been done on the database level let's say he is pulling the data of 10 gb yesterday and try now today he is trying to pulling out the data of 100 gb so obviously it is going to take a time if the data is same uh, we can check as i said uh, you can also face the ash report also uh, you can check the uh, io uh, how much uh, data they are pulling Uh, we can uh, generate the uh, we can generate the explain plan of yesterday's as well as today we can compare that we can also check the awr report in detail we can see what's happening uh, on the yesterday on that particular time when everything was fine and we can check for today's also and we can compare and from there we'll get to know that okay this is the difference and because of that only uh, because many times what happened like the concurrent jobs are also running maybe you have some armen jobs is running maybe you have some other jobs are running which are consuming your high resources maybe it was not there but today it is there so we can check all these things and all these things we can get by using the awr report okay so uh, consider i am using standard ml right Uh, we have one more option is there um um what we called it as uh, there is one more report which we can face uh, normally like wherever i worked uh, the standard edition like this enterprise was there uh, but one option was there i, I i'm not collecting that um, Uh, th- there is a uh, there is a option related to the awr when you don't have awr you can use that option uh, but i don't remember uh, recollect it now okay okay uh say uh, like uh, i have one tb of uh, schema residing in my production database okay i want to refresh it uh, to my qa environment okay what are all the pre checks you will do and uh, i just want the best method to be adopted uh, which doesn't consume more time uh, for uh, this refresh to happen okay in using your database so can you just brief me about that whenever you want to refresh the data from one production and one uh, another production you can use uh, basically you are talking about the schema refresh so we will go with the export and import only we'll take the dump uh, and we will move that dump to the uh, uh, the qa side first of all we need to ensure that the sufficient space is available on the qa side so we will ensure that the table space uh, uh, are like we have a sufficient space is available in the table spaces that we will cross check uh, when the when you are doing the import uh, like you can try with the parallel option also uh that will make sure that uh, the things are going i uh, since the schema is you say uh, around 1 tb uh, if i export and then uh, i need to scp it or let's say if you are using a shared uh, nfs also um again it is going to be a time consuming task right so is there any other option available in your data from uh, network so- link you are talking about that yes we can do that db link we can create a db link and we can do that okay so like what are all the other activities you have performed like i'm okay with the rman um, data card also i know um, okay all this so stuff. your primary uh, your rta logs are missing in your primary and your standby goes out of sync hmm. okay so in that case how will you restore your standby and bring it back to sync 
the archaeologs are missing in the stand by side you are saying right on primary on primary side okay so you uh, uh, i'll just rephrase the question if i understand it clearly so the archaeologs which needs to be shift from primary to stand by but those archaeologs got missed on primary side you are saying right yes yes uh, with the latest version there is one option uh, i was just checking over the google i don't remember the exact name of that uh, through which we can you know uh, do that but normally if it is avail- if it is not available on standby like normally we take the scn level backup and we do that uh, but if it is not available on primary side mm, then it's a tricky question <laughs> i don't know yeah uh, you can just think like i i know one thing that recently oracle have come up with one solution for that uh I, like someone was like we were discussing on that day but i don't remember one solution was there uh but if i just do go with the generalized uh i i'm just giving a hint like i don't know whether it is possible can we move the from standby to primary and we can just register that um maybe we can try like that but uh, anyways primary also you are taking a backup right at that box backup will be happening for your primary also right ha ah, so, so you can restore from the backup in your ah, primary and you can just take it yeah okay that that was quite straight forward ha ah. yeah okay. we <laughs> okay what are the different types of backups available like just on the broad level we have hot backup cold backups are there hot backup means when your database is up and running cold backup means when you want to shut down the database normally we go with the hot backup only in armen we have a level 0 backup is there level 1 backup is there which is a uh, again incremental level 0 means kind of full backup uh, level 1 is a incremental backup level 1 backup get divided into the two more part cumulative backup and differential backup so differential backup will take the changes after level 0 or level 1 whatever it is nearby cumulative backup takes the changes after level 0 only oh. okay so which is a which is the consistent backup either hot backup or cold backup cold backup it's a consistent backup okay okay uh, so uh, like your oracle uh, db is hosted on linux hmm okay So what is the command to create directory in Linux? MKDR, hyphen P. Okay. Uh, okay. So inside your directory there are uh, subdirectories and files. Okay. So I want to give full permission to all the subdirectories and the files residing in it. So uh, what is the command you will use? Ch mode hyphen R triple seven. Okay. and uh like how do you install packages in linux yum install package name okay so uh i wanted to uh, say i have a this group okay uh, uh and it is of same name as this group hmm. okay i need to add i want to extend that volume uh, and add another 50 gb to it how will you do that you can call asmc utility uh, make sure that you have a candidate disk are available and you can add it even you can use the command line interface alter this group this group name add disk and that disk this path you can mention there uh, i am not talking about the asm uh, this groups here you are talking in about the line... file system oh yeah, okay yeah file system level and stop yep disk you can use Okay. How uh, what is the command to check the disk usage? Df-h. Okay. How will you sort uh, the files based on their size? Based on their size. Yeah. Like du-sh will tell you the size and uh, du-sh will show you the size like basically. Sort command is also available in Linux, right? You can use that. Okay. Uh, I just know a file name. Okay. I need to. Uh, I just know the parent directory. I want to search the file and find its exact location. Which command can you use for that? Find. Find. You can use. Ah. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, uh, nice talking to you, Ayush. I'll share the feedback with HR. Yeah, thank, okay. thank you. Thank you yeah. so much.